Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. It has been a minute. I decided to take a little break once Lucene left and just try to get back into a swing of going to work every day, Monday through Friday, and starting my workout schedule as well. Everything has been going really good. Work has been great, and today's actually Friday. I'm working from home. They gave me a laptop yesterday because everybody is going to be, well, in, at least in my department, they're all gonna be off on Friday, so there was no point of me going into the office. So they just gave me a laptop in case anybody from other departments need any help with anything. I finally went back to my running class. I went Monday and yesterday. Mondays are strength training and then Thursday classes are combo. So it's running and strength training. And I'm trying to add one more day in the week. I don't know if I should do Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday or should I do Monday, Thursday, and Saturday morning. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but right now I'm just going to do Mondays and Thursdays and then slowly add in another day in. Or if I want to just go all out, I can just do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Maybe like the next two or three months I will do that. But <laughs> I want to just slowly add it in. That way I don't burn myself out and get tired throughout the week for work. But other than that, yeah, just trying to get back into the swing of things. Not really much update, you know? Cars working really well. I'm officially the owner. I got the title last week and had to pay a little a little chunk of money when I took it to the Dallas County office. It should be coming in within two to three weeks. So I'm just glad all of that is done. You know, I just don't like going to any government office because you don't know if they're gonna be nice to you or how long it'll take. I went during my lunch break and luckily, I only waited like 20 minutes and the lady who helped me was very sweet. We actually have a double date night planned with my friend Anwar and Sini. Oh, we haven't had a double date night with them since January. It's been a long, long overdue, but that is the plans for tonight. We're gonna go up to McKinney Square and have dinner and then go to our favorite hookah spot in that area. I'm just gonna stay home. And since Alexander is working today, I was like, well, let me just take you to work. Let me drop you off at work. And once you get off work, I'm going to come pick you up and then go straight to the restaurant because there's no point of him driving and then going back home the other way. And then it's just on the way. Like his job is on the way to the restaurant and where we're going to be having our date night and stuff. So that is the plans today. I just thought, why not start a new vlog? It's been a while. We're going to head out in the next 10 minutes. I need to go fill up gas in my car. We're going to go swing by Dutch Bros because so I, I'm not really a big fan of Dutch Bros. I only had their drink once. I got their chai and I didn't like it, but I was on Instagram and an ad pop up and they have these strawberry or chocolate chai drink and it looks good. So I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna try it one more time and see how good it is. And then we'll drop off Alexander on the way. These beautiful roses that Lucene got us a couple of weeks ago have been holding up so well. I know some of them are like slightly dying right here, but they still look so good. Human? Menace, do you want to say hi to the vlog? I'm sure they missed you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he knocked this camera and it hit me on my nose. <laughs> Here's Newman. They're all doing good. I what's going on? He's been so needy this morning. Like I fed him, we took him out, he did his business, I gave him all the cuddles this morning, and it's still not enough. I know. Hey Newman. I'm sure they all missed you. Oh, you see that? I can't ever get a hold of Newman because this big boy. Still trying to get used to like filming in this car. <laughs> but Alexander is filling up gas right now. Alexander got the Coco Mocha, I think that's what it's called. It's just an ice mocha, half sweet and easy ice. And then here is the strawberry or jata chai with some cinnamon powder on top. So let's go give this a try. Oh. 
honestly it tastes like strawberry milk with cinnamon it's pretty good it's not too sweet this is really good i like it i like how much cinnamon crumbs that they have or it's actually called cinnamon sprinkles i like that very neat okay dutch bros this is way better than their original chai in my opinion and alexander says that dutch bros is slowly growing on him but yeah that, that's good i would definitely go back and get that again i'm gonna have to let alexander try it oh we don't have any hand sanitizer in the car oh i don't have any hand sanitizer in the car oh shit so sorry okay. sorry but um try this it's actually really good i just try mine i haven't tried yours yet try it i'll let you try mine first it's cinnamon sprinkles on top. It's really light, which is nice. I like it. It's good. Never mind. Just tell me what you think. Okay. What's it called again? I forgot. Coco Co mocha. Okay, coco mocha. Yeah, basically coconut mocha. Coconut mocha? Mm hmm Oh, it has coconut in here? Flavor. Oh, so it's coconut and so it's coco mocha. Okay, whatever. Just try it. Tell it's good. I don't taste the coconut. Yeah. Just like the ice mocha. And that's the perfect amount of sweetness, too. This is half. Yeah, I know. I don't do full sweet. Sweet is too high. <laughs> All right, time to drop off. Let Alexander, go. to work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. It has been many, many hours later. It is 4 o'clock, and I just got done doing my makeup. I might have done my eyebrows a little bit too harsh, but that's okay. <laughs> I've been loving... I don't even know what this is. I think this is a lip tint if I am correct. That's what Lucina told me. It's a lip tint. But anyways, we got this from Tesso. We were in Carrollton, Koreatown. And it's just such cute packaging. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it just says nice to meet you on top. And I don't even know what shade this is. Oh, number five. And it's just, I've been loving it. I've been wearing it like the past week and a half to work. And it's just the perfect color so that is what I'm gonna be wearing on my lips I already have the lip oil from Miss A on and I just apply this straight over it just makes my lip look so juicy <laughs> a beautiful pink like a natural mauvey pink I mean it, it does wear like a lip tint this does cost $10 at Tesso and they have so many different shades we were <laughs> when she was in town we were just like watching it but this one was my favorite color it's just your perfect everyday pink you see that very natural i surprisingly picked out an outfit before doing my makeup so you guys can see I'm wearing a couple of pieces from Nevea. I'm wearing this little flower necklace that I don't really gravitate towards. I honestly forget that I have it sometimes. But since I am wearing a floral top, I thought the flower would go really well with it. And then I'm just also, again, another bracelet that I don't really grab is this one from Nevea as well. It's the Tree of Life bracelet that they have. Let me go change, do my hair, and I will be right back. Okay, I don't know if I should keep this headband on or take it off. I just haven't worn a headband in so long. I just don't feel comfortable in it. But then if I take off the headband, my hair looks crazy because I didn't do a good job curling my hair. I used my mom's wand, this tapered one. So it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it looks funny, right? I look like I have a freaking like wig on or something. <laughs> I just look funny and it... I need help. It looks really cute. It doesn't look too crazy. You know what? I'll just... I'll keep the headband on because I feel like it makes my head look a little smaller. 
If it looks crazy, it looks crazy. <laughs> but this is my outfit, you guys. This top, as you guys can see, it has yellow flowers all over. I got this from, I think, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's very summery, it's breathable. I've already worn this before. And then, again, with my extremely old, faded, high-waisted black shorts I got from Forever 21 years and years ago. Um, it still fits me, but also it's very stretchy and I don't think I'm going to throw it away anytime soon. It's that good. My toes are so crusty. Haven't gotten a pedicure in like a good three months. I will say like a legit pedicure that I went to the salon. Yeah, the last time I had a pedicure was when I went to go help Eric move to Florida. Oh my God, it's been almost four months. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear sandals. I'm just gonna wear my white Adidas. Keep it casual. But yeah, I'm gonna get going now. That is my outfit, you guys. I am so hungry too. I've been saving my stomach for tonight. All right, guys. Let's go. Hey guys, it is now the next day. Last night's double date was so much fun. The restaurant we went to, Local Yokel, was, it was amazing. Everything was a 10 out of 10. Their steak was so tender and juicy and the sides, the sauces that they gave you, the bone marrow for appetizer, everything was just so, so good and we all loved it. And then, you know, went to our favorite hookah spot. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, didn't get home until 12 o'clock. Didn't sleep until one, so I was super tired. But I've been up, just kind of like tidy around the house. Today, I'm all ready again. This is yesterday's hair. I need to put some dry shampoo in because it feels gross. All the curls fell out, but yeah, I'm all ready. It's just gonna change. Alexander is getting ready too. We're gonna head out today because my friend Joe recently bought a house, a brand new house, and we're just gonna come over, hang out with him and his son, do a little housewarming. He wants to have us over, so I'm really excited. I'm so happy for him that he bought a brand new house. It's been a few weeks since he moved in. Me and Alexander are gonna go grab lunch first, and then we're gonna go swing by Trader Joe's. I wanna get him like a little plant and a drink. We're just gonna be hanging out with him all day today, so I'm excited. It. He lives pretty far. He's about an hour away. Of course, I threw on my Amazon shirt. You guys, I am living in these shirts. I need to get more. There's still a few in my Amazon cart, and I just haven't bought it yet, but they're, just, they're so good. Finally using my new Hydro Jug Sports 32 ounce. I love this. I love Hydro Jug. It's great. Still trying to figure out what we're going to eat for lunch. I'm throwing out options for Alexander. <laughs> getting some pho for lunch I also have to always get a side of egg rolls <laughs> yes and Alexander's wearing the same shirt he's wearing last night mind your business <laughs> currently next door at Happy Lemon I've never been here before. Alexander's just trying a fruit tea. I'm not getting anything. I'm so full. But it's really cute inside. <laughs> yeah, my cousin used to work here. Just never, never thought about coming here. But we'll see. We'll see if Alexander likes it. <laughs> Peep Alexander's little friend right here. 
Okay, so what did you get? You got honey lemon. You just got like a honey lemon green tea, very basic. No, there's no lemon. I'm sorry, honey green tea. Oh, honey green tea, very basic, super cute. All the lemons. There's no lemon inside though. I'm saying all the lemon, like the yeah, design. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it is good. It's good, right? That, I'm so generally surprised. Mm, yeah, I'm surprised too. Wow. <laughs> just never thought about going there because it is a little pricey, right? It's actually it's five fifty, so it's the same price now as everywhere else. Okay, you guys, I have been thinking and dreaming about the Dubai chocolate. So we're gonna go there. It's a little after 12, so they're just now selling at 12 p.m. So we're gonna go there, get some, and also some like Arabic desserts. If. If they have whatever Alexander's looking for. But we're gonna get a bar of the Dubai chocolate. And eat it on the way to Joe's place. <laughs> Ooh, I love how empty it is here. Barely anyone is here and they're still selling the chocolates at the front. We got two, well first, we got the pomegranate, pomegranate and nugget. Nugget or nougat? It's nougat. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I can't say it's it right. Really good, it's half pomegranate and half nougat. Um, Alexander tried it, he said it's so good. And then we just got two of the chocolate bars. They make it a little bit different this time. It's like little cubes. But we got two of these. Luckily, it wasn't busy and packed. Snack on this in the car right now because you guys know this melts really easily. Me and Cindy tried this in Turkey and I loved it. It was like one of my favorite treats. Yeah, they ran out of the rose because I tried the rose last time I was here. Um, I think it's a popular one, but at least the pomegranate is just as good. Take a look at that beauty. Mm. It's really so good. good. <laughs> oh man. Take a bite. I gotta tell you, America has everything. <laughs> Take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh. I was thinking about this a few times since me and Lucy and I had it last. it is now the next day it is Sunday yesterday was a lot of fun with Joe we just chill at his house and watched the new physical 100 season I know it came out like earlier this year or late last year I don't know when it came out but we were watching it we watched the first three episodes and so far we're liking it and then we just had dinner with him and then head back home we didn't get home until 9 we were pretty tired because we were driving around a lot yesterday and he lives pretty far but we we're just so happy to see him and his son and his new house like I'm just so happy for him like what a big milestone and a big accomplishment you know to get a house to be a homeowner so I'm really happy for him yeah I am just laying here editing this video for you guys and about like an hour a little over an hour ago me and Alexander were just laying in bed, I'm editing, the window was open, like the, the blinds are open and there was this white SUV that just drove by and it reversed back next to my car and it was there for like a few seconds, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds and Alexander was like, what are they doing there? Like what's going on? I Well, I didn't think much of it, he had like a weird feeling about it which was like, he thought it was really strange that they would just reverse and stop next to my car that's parked in the front and I was like oh you know they're probably just looking at something because usually like you know my mom has a nice lawn flowers and stuff I don't know I just thought they just slowly backed up and looked at the house and then just drove off like they were literally there for no more than like 10 seconds and then they drove off so I didn't think much of it I went back to editing and then 
my mom's friend came over 20 to 30 minutes later he comes knocking on the door and he was like oh you need to go wash your car somebody threw a bunch of eggs at your car and i'm like oh it was that white suv so luckily we found out about it really soon and i just drove it to the back in the backyard and i just hosed it down with soap i was hosing it down for like 45 minutes i got wet it was hot had to take a shower as you guys can see my hair is wet but what a morning that was. Like literally there's so many eggshells out in the front. It's crazy. I don't know how much eggs they used. Maybe a whole pack, maybe two packs. It was a bunch of eggs and it was all on the passenger side and on the windshield everywhere right there. Um, I don't know why they did that. Alexander thinks it was just like a random act, like a bunch of young stupid teenagers i don't know maybe people are just rude and they just like to throw eggs i was like a random target or i'm thinking maybe they thought it was somebody else's car maybe they had some kind of altercation on the road but they thought that my car was that person's car so they came by and like threw eggs i don't know it's very strange but i was a little bit i was a little bit thrown off like hmm Luckily, my car is all clean now and washed up. The eggs didn't ruin the paint. And just so so happy that my mom's friend came at that perfect timing because we didn't see anything. Like, we didn't see anybody come out. Maybe they, like, snuck out the door and threw the eggs. But, like, I wasn't really looking at my car, you know? I mean, it's, yeah, weird. Weird. I don't know why they did that. But moving forward i am going to be parking in the back now i'm no longer parking my car in the front this has never happened to me by the way and yeah i haven't drove my car since friday so the car was at home all day yesterday we took alexander's car yesterday to joe's so i don't know they probably was just like a random act it sucks but it's okay it's all clean at the end of the day it's just eggs <laughs> uh it could have been a lot worse i remember a long time ago my dad was taking me to school well, this was elementary school i was like in fifth grade we were at a red light and a school bus was right next to us i think there was like a couple of kids who threw eggs at my dad's truck luckily it was just like two or three eggs at him but i remember he was just so mad and i'm like you know what it probably was just a bunch of hooligans but whatever now i'm just gonna end this vlog here for you guys <laughs> because i didn't do an outro so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.